chapter 26. After the plague had ended, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, Take a census of all the men of Israel who are twenty years old or older to find out how many of each family are of military age. At that time, the entire nation of Israel was camped on the plains of Moab, beside the Jordan River across from Jericho. So Moses and Eleazar the priest issued these census instructions to the leaders of Israel. Count all the men of Israel twenty years old and older, just as the Lord commanded Moses. This is the census record of all the descendants of Israel who came out of Egypt. These were the clans descended from Reuben, Jacob's oldest son, the Hanukite clan named after its ancestor Hanuk, the Paluite clan named after its ancestor Palu, the Hezronite clan named after its ancestor Hezron, the Carmite clan named after its ancestor Carmi. The men from all the clans of Reuben numbered 43,730. Palu was the ancestor of Eliab, and Eliab was the father of Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. This Dathan and Abiram are the same community leaders who conspired with Korah against Moses and Aaron, defying the Lord. But the earth opened up and swallowed them with Korah, and 250 of their followers were destroyed that day by fire from the Lord. This served as a warning to the entire nation of Israel. However, the sons of Korah did not die that day. These were the clans descended from the sons of Simeon, the Nemuelite clan named after its ancestor Nemuel, the Jamanite clan named after its ancestor Jamin, the Jaconite clan named after its ancestor Jacon, the Zerahite clan named after its ancestor Zerah, the Shaulite clan named after its ancestor Shau. The men from all the clans of Simeon numbered 22,200. These were the clans descended from the sons of God, the Zephonite clan named after its ancestor Zephon, the Haggai clan named after its ancestor Haggai, the Shunite clan named after its ancestor Shunai, the Oznite clan named after its ancestor Oznai, the Erite clan named after its ancestor Eri, the Erodite clan named after its ancestor Erodai, the Erolite clan named after its ancestor Areli. The men from all the clans of Gad numbered 40,500. Judah had two sons, Er and Onan, who had died in the land of Canaan. But the following clans descended from Judah's surviving sons, the Shelanite clan named after its ancestor Shelah, the Perizzite clan named after its ancestor Perez, the Zerahite clan named after its ancestor Zerah. These were the sub-clans descended from the Perizzites, the Hezronites named after their ancestor Hezron, the Hamulites named after their ancestor Hamul. The men from all the clans of Judah numbered 76,500. These were the clans descended from the sons of Issachar, the Tolaite clan named after its ancestor Tola, the Puite clan named after its ancestor Pua, the Jashubite clan named after its ancestor Jashub, the Shimronite clan named after its ancestor Shimra. The men from all the clans of Issachar numbered 64,300. These were the clans descended from the sons of Zebulun, the Siradite clan named after its ancestor Sirad, the Elonite clan named after its ancestor Elon, the Jalilite clan named after its ancestor Jalil. The men from all the clans of Zebulun numbered 60,500. Two clans were descended from Joseph through Manasseh and Ephraim. These were the clans descended from Manasseh, the Makarite clan named after its ancestor Machir, the Gileadite clan named after its ancestor Gilead, Machir's son. These were the sub-clans descended from the Gileadites, the Jezerites, named after their ancestor Jezer, the Helakites, named after their ancestor Helak, the Asriolites, named after their ancestor Asriel, the Shechemites, named after their ancestor Shechem, the Shemidites, named after their ancestor Shemida, the Hepherites, named after their ancestor Hepher. Hepher's son, Zelophehad, had no sons, but his daughters' names were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. The men from all the clans of Manasseh numbered 52,700. These were the clans descended from the sons of Ephraim, the Shuthalahite clan named after its ancestor Shuthalah, the Becherite clan named after its ancestor Becher, the Tehanite clan named after its ancestor Tehan. This was the sub-clan descended from the Shuthalahites, the Aaronites, named after their ancestor Aaron, the men from all the clans of Ephraim numbered 32,500. 
These clans of Manasseh and Ephraim were all descendants of Joseph. These were the clans descended from the sons of Benjamin, the Belaite clan named after its ancestor Bela, the Ashbelite clan named after its ancestor Ashbel, the Ahiramite clan named after its ancestor Ahiram, the Shufamite clan named after its ancestor Shufam, the Hufamite clan named after its ancestor Hufam. These were the subclans descended from the Belaites, the Ardites named after their ancestor Ard, the Naamites named after their ancestor Naaman. Men from all the clans of Benjamin numbered 45,600. These were the clans descended from the sons of Dan, the Shuhamite clan named after its ancestor Shuham. All the clans of Dan were Shuhamite clans, and the men from these clans numbered 64,400. These were the clans descended from the sons of Asher, the Imnite clan named after its ancestor Imna, the Ishvite clan, named after its ancestor Ishvai, the Bariite clan, named after its ancestor Bariah. These were the subclans descended from the Berarites, the Heberites, named after their ancestor Heber, the Malkielites, named after their ancestor Malkiel. Asher also had a daughter named Sarah. The men from all the clans of Asher numbered 53,400. These were the clans descended from the sons of Naphtali, the Jazielite clan named after its ancestor Jazil, the Gunite clan named after its ancestor Gunai, the Jezerite clan named after its ancestor Jezer, the Shelemite clan named after its ancestor Shelem. The men from all the clans of Naphtali numbered 45,400. So the total number of Israelite men counted in the census numbered 601,730. Then the Lord said to Moses, Divide the land among the tribes in proportion to their populations as indicated by the census. Give the larger tribes more land and the smaller tribes less land, each group's inheritance reflecting the size of its population. Make sure you assign the land by lot and define the inheritance of each ancestral tribe by means of the census listings. Each inheritance must be assigned by lot among the larger and smaller tribal groups. This is the census record for the Levites who were counted according to their clans. The Gershonite clan named after its ancestor Gershon, the Kohathite clan named after its ancestor Kohath, the Merarite clan named after its ancestor Merari, the Libnites, the Hebronites, the Malites, the Mushites, and the Korahites were all subclans of the Levites. Now Kohath was the ancestor of Amram, and Amram's wife was named Jochebed. She also was a descendant of Levi, born among the Levites in the land of Egypt. Amram and Jochebed became the parents of Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. To Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they burned before the Lord a different kind of fire than he had commanded. The men from the Levite clans who were one month old or older numbered 23,000. But the Levites were not included in the total census figure of the people of Israel because they were not given an inheritance of land when it was divided among the Israelites. So these are the census figures of the people of Israel as prepared by Moses and Eleazar the priest on the plains of Moab beside the Jordan River across from Jericho. Not one person that Moses and Aaron counted in this census had been among those counted in the previous census taken in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, they will all die in the wilderness. The only exceptions were Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun.